Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back doing another episode of Norwich. Um, what is it now? Episode 15? Uh, we're doing well into the second season. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys can check out my new Valencia uh, video I did. Uh, that was uploaded on Friday. So, check that out. Anyway, uh, on to Norwich. So, this episode we have... This episode we have Aston Villa, we have uh, we have Chelsea, we have Newcastle, and we have Arsenal in the cup in the round of sixteen in the Carabao Cup, and then we have Man City away to end off the episode. Not exactly in the easiest set of fixtures, but they're what we've got anyway. Uh, press conference. Uh, do you have the squad depth to keep this going? Uh, of course. Uh, Norwich City are currently on a winning streak, having won their last five matches. Will you keep it going against Aston Villa? Uh, I'm focused on long-term success. Rather than putting too much emphasis on our next match, I'm focusing on building long-term success at Norwich City. You secured a clear victory in your previous match. Do you think it's going to affect Aston Villa's morale? Um, I don't even know. Uh, morale is a strategic aspect. We'll go with that. I said it before and I'll say it again. No, I didn't. Morale is a strategic aspect of managing a team in any sport. We will go into... Yeah. It goes by too okay, quickly. Fine. It goes off way too quickly to be able to read it. Oh, yes. So, I've looked at my team and in January, I am going to be needing... Or at least at some point... I think in January, I'm going to sign a new left mid. I'm going to sign somebody who's a bit younger. And then in the summer, I'm going to go for a left back as backup to Jamal Lewis. Because uh, hopefully by that point, Jamal Lewis will be like 79, 80 rated. Um, and Onel Hernandez needs somebody younger to compete with him. Um, Todd Campbell, I'd rather have Todd Campbell as back up to Cam. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where this goes. But for now, Aston Villa away it is. So the team we're going with for this one is literally just the one change from the usual team. We're going with Alexander Newbel in goal. We've gone Aaron Spenkovic. Godfrey and Lewis at the back. Then we've gone Benassa and Ad's head is the one change. Buendia, Almada, Hernandez and Haaland. The best chance of this match comes about 10 minutes in. Buendia plays the ball into Haaland who gets into the box. He uh, comes back and he has a shot which gets blocked. Thiago Almada on the follow-up sees his shot saved. Another chance here with uh, more good play from Buendia and Haaland. Buendia gets the ball to the right of the box. He pulls the ball back for Haaland heads wide. I was trying to pull the ball back with that one across the goal. But it wasn't to be. Haaland then plays the ball out wide to Onel Hernandez. He then gets to the byline. He cuts inside. Crosses the ball in. And Emi Buendia can get his head onto that one. It says it's Tyrone Mings who gets his head on. But it wasn't. It was actually Emi Buendia. Norwich go 1-0 up. E uh, easy uh, one there. The goalkeeper couldn't really do much about it. See the cross comes in from Onel Hernandez. And Emi Buendia. All he has to do is get a touch and just get direct that towards goal. Aston Villa do have a chance though in the second half. I assure you this really was just a terrible game for Aston Villa. Uh, no one-sided highlights here. Jota plays the ball down to El Mohamedi. His cross comes in and Ben Godfrey heads the ball away. And just to prove I'm not lying, there's the stats. Well, that was that. Uh, in truth, quite a dull game. Only four shots out from either team. Um, from both teams, there was only four shots. So we managed to get the win though. So that we'll take that. Some questions regarding the match. Lewis is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance today? Uh, must keep momentum. We need Lewis to keep his good momentum going for as long as possible. He did good today, but being able to keep his form going is what separates the great from the good. That's true. Congratulations, your winning streak is extended with today's match. How long do you keep hope to keep this on? Um, my players deserve all the credit. I'm so fortunate to be managing such a talented group of players. All credit goes to them. We were able to secure the victory today before half time. Are you pleased with how things went in the second half? Uh, we were the better team. I think we deserve to win based on how we played. We created enough chances and the score could have been better. Yeah, no further yep. Transfer offers come in for Simon Power. 340k. We will accept that. We've been looking to get him a move away anyway. So, oh, And of course, uh, Simon Power's transfer is broken down so we're not getting 
not selling him just yet. Right, let's see where Chelsea are in the league. Am I going blind? No, Chelsea's 10th. Four wins, four defeats. That's fine with me. Same team, again, uh, Newbel in goal, Aaron Benkovic, Godfrey Lewis, Bernasa, Adshead, Buendia, Omada, Hernandez and Haaland. Uh, you can't really change it. We were in, in pretty much control last match. We maybe could have done a bit better going forwards, but defensively we were solid, so can't really change that. First chance in 15 minutes in this one. Uh, Kovacic and Tete aren't quite on the same page here. Uh, ball eventually finds its way to Thiago Almada, whose shot gets blocked by Rudiger. Very good block there. It is a corner to Norwich. Uh, you can see the, the replay on this one. Don't Not quite sure whether that was going in, but good block anyway from Rudiger. Corner gets taken by Benassa. It gets headed away by Tete. Dan Adshead picks it up. He's going to go for goal. His shot gets blocked by Jorginho. The ball falls to Jamal Lewis. Out on the left-hand side. His cross gets saved by Kepa. We have a chance here from a throw-in. Buendia finds Haaland, who can cut inside. He plays the ball inside Thiago Almada, who shoots first time, saved by Kepa. Onel Hernandez intercepts there, and then plays the ball to Dan Adshead, who then plays it back to Onel Hernandez. He's got so much space down this left-hand side. He ha has a shot, but saved by Kepa. Emi Buendia will take this corner over from the right-hand side. Ben Godfrey's head gets deflected wide by Rudiger and it gets cleared by Jorginho but Dan Adshead will collect it again Onel Hernandez has a shot from distance but Kepa saves it we have another chance here Thiago Almada playing the nice ball through to Haaland it's right on the stroke of half time Haaland will have a shot Kepa with another save and that's the stats at half time we're dominating yet another match Onel Hernandez now has the ball down this left hand side he's going to have a shot Kepa will save but Haaland on the rebound 1-0 at Carrow Road against Chelsea. In the first half, I don't know how we weren't already 3-4-0 up with some of them chances. But there we have it. We finally take the lead. Emi Buendia now has the ball down the right-hand side and he plays the ball to Haaland. He then cuts inside, plays the ball to uh, Buendia. Thiago Almada should do better with that one, but Kepa covers it. And I have no idea. This is probably the worst bit of refereeing you'll ever see. So Lewis plays the ball to Almada. Clear foul. We play the advantage. Referee decides to pull it back as we are about to get through on goal. That pass from Haaland would have got through to, I think, Buendia. And the referee does book Kovacic, but I have no idea how he's given that one. So now we go uh, right onto the stroke of full time, 1-0 up. Ronald Hernandez has all the space down this left-hand side, and he does eventually get the goal that he's deserved for the last two games. He dominated Aston Villa, he's dominated Chelsea, and you can see he finally gets what, he d what he's deserved from the games and we now go 2-0 up Chelsea can do nothing to stop him there I think he just had more legs than the rest of them I think he was just still had the energy and that's his second goal of the season and final stats 11 shots to us none to Chelsea we lost possession but there you go so there we go another dominant performance possession wise it says we actually lost possession but uh a very good 2-0 win against a very tough side. Just a couple of questions. Congratulations, your winning streak is extended with today's match. I swear we've we've had this question last one. We'll go with I'm focused on long-term success. Rather than putting too much emphasis on our next match, I'm focused on building long-term success at Norwich. Chances of winning were slim. Did you expect this outcome? Um, I knew we'd win. On paper, Chelsea was the better team, but that means nothing once the whistle blows. I knew we'd win. There we go. Comfortable win after sco two goals scored by Norwich City. Do you think the game could have gone another way today? Um, we could have scored more both the result and scoreline were well deserved in my opinion we gave Chelsea no chance and could have easily scored more Thanks, I mean 11 shots to their zero I don't really think that they can say about anything else I don't think the result could have gone any other way it's difficult to win a match when you haven't had a shot right transfer for Michael McGovern, please just accept one eventually. To the players that's, that I'm trying to sell, just accept one. Same team again for this one. We're just literally going straight through with the same team. Can't make any changes when you're beating Chelsea 2-0. And uh, Newbel in goal, Aaron's Benkovic, Godfrey Lewis, Vanessa, Adshead, Buendia, Almada, Hernandez and...
Haaland up front. Newcastle start this one off on the front foot with some good passing play here. You'll see play, uh, Matty Longs Longstaff and Andy Carroll particularly involved in this. Jolinton has the ball here down this right-hand side. He plays the ball to Andy Carroll, who first touch back to Matty Longstaff, who shoots wide. Nasser has the ball now, and Norwich will have an attack. Thiago Almada will try. To, will find Haaland, tries to chip Rob Elliott, but he can't quite manage that. Emi Buendia will take the corner, which will be headed away, uh, but Dan Adshead picked it up and then just shoots from distance. You'll see that a lot. Uh, here, Dan Adshead picks the ball up, uh, following them trying to clear it. Emi Buendia gets the ball to Erling Haaland, and the ball just squeezes over the line. Norwich go 1-0 up in... Strange circumstances this one because as you see when you see the replay Yes, Erling Haaland had the shot, but it looked like the keeper had actually saved it and then it just kind of hit him and went in You will see especially here. You'll see that uh, it does actually go down as an own goal So unfortunately that won't be Haaland, uh, Haaland's goal, but Thiago Almada now has the ball. He sprints past Lascelles. He's uh, got his man beat completely. Tries to chip Elliot, but he can't. And I have no idea how this ends up staying out. Haaland has the shot, but Paul Dummett puts his body on the line. Onel Hernandez has the ball down the left-hand side. Now we're into the second half. He crosses the ball in. Dan adds head on the volley. Another good save by Rob Elliot. Now Newcastle finally get the ball down the right-hand side. They actually have space. And for some reason, Benkovic looks more like he's marking the goalkeeper than he is Jolinton. And Jolinton has all the space in the world. Dan adds head and Erling Haaland try to play a 1-2, but Rob Elliot just gets there first. The ball comes through to Andy Carroll here and a great save from Alexander Newball. And it stays 1-1 at full time. Both Man City and Spurs won. I drew. Well, hey. Um, I very much struggled to get in behind their back five uh, with obviously just time for a few quick questions. Harland up front. Currently on an unbeaten streak, having drawn only one in their last zero matches. Wow. Will you keep it going? Will my own... Uh, unbeaten streak going. Um, we'll go with we're not obsessed with this. Sooner or later, the run will come to an end, and it's important we don't get caught up, too caught up in the attention around our current streak. There we go. A really tight contest today. What was your overall impression of the performance? Um, we should have won. Lads are disappointed in there, and they should be. Yeah, too much for me to read by the time it goes off. And the Newcastle United equaliser came in the second half. Did you hope to get back in front? Um, we aim to win each match. Of course, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a silly question. Of course you hope to get back in front. And now I've got Timu Puki coming to me, asking to be selected more. Um, you still have your place in the squad, kind of. All transfer offers come in for Simon Power. So we will accept that. It's the exact same as the one we accepted before. So the team we're going with for this one, we're fully rotating. And remember, I will only be showing the goals for this one. We're going with Patrick Gunnison in goal. Byram, Zimmerman, Bashiri, and Heiser, Tribal Leitner, Fitzpatrick, McLean, Cantwell, and Adam Ryder up front on his own. Fully rotated, um, but hopefully just as good as the first team. Rosens crosses the ball in from the left hand side, and the ball comes all the way across to Nicola Pepe. He manages to pull the ball back, and Brozovic is there to smash the ball in. Player of his quality, you can't give him that much space. Timu Puki, who's come off the bench, loses the ball to Gabriel Paulista. Uh, Aubameyang managed to find Gosens. He finds Campbell. Shot gets saved by Gunnison, but Gosens heads the ball in. Loops the ball over the keeper. Well, that was a frustrating one, but I suppose that's what happens when you play your rotated side. At least we're still unbeaten in the league, or on an unbeaten run in the league. Have you got time for just a few questions? The side was thrashed by Arsenal. I didn't think we were thrashed. That was a bit harsh. Uh, what went wrong today? Uh, they were the better team. Scoreline says it all. Arsenal were the better team. We have to prepare better for our next game. Which is true. Brozovic was one of the best players of the opposition today. Is his confident display in defence the reason behind your failure to the end? Blah, blah, blah. Um, concentrate on what we can do better. Yeah, I think the main difference is we fully rotated our side, whereas they still had Lacazette. They, st they had Brozovic. They had... Just some ridiculous plays. Oh, now there's a pre-match conference for Man City. Hi guys, thanks all for being Hi, here. Hi, in good Rest form. Will we see more of him today? Uh, nothing personal. Different opponents require different tactics. I hope he doesn't hold it against me as it's nothing personal. 
Your team is going up against Manchester City. They have a very strong squad. Uh, how do you deal with the pressure? Uh, we will overcome it. Pressure is always there, but as a team, we will overcome this. Will you be able to motivate your team against an opponent placed second in the league? We need no extra motivation. Playing the team ranked above us provides enough motivation itself. There we go. That's all we Let's hope so, because uh, we're fourth. Oh, it's by goal difference as well. My goal difference isn't great compared to theirs. But, I mean, all the top four have scored... Are the only teams to have scored 20 or more goals. And our team for this one is pretty much unchanged from the uh, League 11. Uh, Newbel in goal, Aaron Benkovic, Godfrey Lewis, Benessa, Adted, Buendia, Almada, Hernandez and Haaland. The first chance to this one comes straight from kickoff. De Bruyne plays the ball out wide to Yao Cancelo. He passes the ball, but by the time he gets the ball back from Bernardo Silva, he's got Onel Hernandez straight on him. And Onel Hernandez can make a charge down the left-hand side. So much space, as we've seen all episode. Edison gets there. We are on the front foot from the off. However, Manchester City do eventually get an attack, but Ben Godfrey puts in a brilliant tackle to stop Raheem Sterling in his tracks. They do eventually, though, see a good chance. This is 16 minutes in. Kevin De Bruyne cuts inside. Philip Benkovic has sold one there, and Kevin De Bruyne can make it 1-0. But Haaland gets the best of Laporte, and he's through on goal here. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, smashes the ball, top corner, 1-1. Not very long into this one. We're still in the first half, and already we've seen chances. We've seen, two, we've seen a goal apiece. Probably could have been 1-0 up within a matter of seconds. But we're 1-1 one, one now, uh, and that is a brilliant finish from Erling Haaland. It's seven goals in the league for him now. We have another chance here. Buendia gets the cross in. Onel Hernandez can't quite get there. They managed to get the ball away, just about. Vanessa has a long shot. Fall, ball falls to Dan Ad's head, and like we've seen about three times this episode, he fires wide. Almada finds Hernandez. He has all the space in the world down this left-hand side again. He cuts inside. He has a shot. Good save from Edison. The corner will be played in by Buendia, and Benkovic heads, I was going to say just wide, but he heads it way wide with that one. Another chance down this right-hand side here, Max Ahrens plays the ball into Erling Haaland. Again, he gets the better of Emerick Laporte. He's through here, he plays the ball back, and Thiago Almada sees his shot blocked by Cancelo. Edison catches it. Yao Cancelo will get the cross in uh, now, eight to four minutes played. He, the cross comes back to him, he heads the ball into De Bruyne, De Bruyne and Godfrey end up battling for it. Parejo gets the overhead kick, but it goes wide. We're now into injury time. Good tackle there from Filip Benkovic. It will be a corner. Last action of the game. Bernardo gets the, uh, plays the corner in. There's a big scramble. Eventually, it leads to a shot from Sterling, which gets cleared by Max Ahrens, and that's going to be full-time 1-1. So it's another unbeaten month. That's two months in a row unbeaten. Would giving Heiso a chance to play have helped the team win today? Um, he can prove me wrong. Not every decision pays off, and you have to be able to own up to your own to your decisions. He'll get the chance to prove me wrong. That proved to me that leaving him out of the squad is the wrong decision. No team unbeaten so far in the Premier League. We are. I thought so. Are you confident to keep the streak rolling? Um, we're unbeaten for a reason. There's a good reason why we are unbeaten for nine matches. Our defence is rock solid. Once you got the equaliser in the first half, did you expect to get a win in the end? Um, happy with the draw. Satisfied with the result in the end. Today I think a draw is a good result for us, all things no considered. I mean, you're away to Manchester City, so you can't really be complaining about a draw. I'm hoping that I am going to be able to get European football at the end of the season, because then going into the third season, we can absolutely smash it. We can go and sign whoever we want, um, but right now we're looking good for fourth place. Poor Huddersfield down there on one point. They got promoted again just to get battered again. Oh, we, we only have a three game month next month. Excellent, so we've got Stoke, Watford and Leeds. So that'll be a nice easy, easy one to record. So Watford's 14th, Leeds are 18th, Stoke's 19th. So next week we should be looking at it Three wins from three. Should. But if this is anything like Norwich in real life, 
that's not going to happen. So yeah, the next month is kind of a nothing month, to be honest. Like, there's not really anything uh, to it. However, there will be a Valencia career mode video, episode 2, where we will be playing in the Champions League. Uh, coming up next, on Friday, and then next Wednesday will hopefully be another Norwich career mode. And yeah, so... Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already. Follow my social me follow me on social media. I will have left my social medias at the beginning of the episode. Uh, and in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then.